Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino and I am calling you in right from the historic moment in which I managed to connect my version 2 book 8088 and my Linux machine over the serial line. For indeed, this is this second version of the book 8088 that possesses a serial port. And last time I tried to connect this machine with my Linux machine, it did not want to because apparently it is insisting on hardware flow control on the serial port. And I bamboozled my way around that successfully. So, this is the detail, the details of the setup, just very briefly. Alright, so you're having here this port. And it has two wires here in the center. Right? In the lower center it has two wires, the two central ones from the four. They need to be shorted, like the one to be connected with the other. Then, here on the left you see again two wires, the upper and the lower. So, these need to be connected, however, and this is why there is a attached wire further, they also need to be connected to the pin which is just to the left of the yellow pin, that is the second from the right or fourth from the left. So upper, lower and the one before the last one. Once you have connected these, there are three wires which remain important and these are these two. So this is for RX and TX as well as the ground wire and these three you may simply connect to TX and RX respectively and again ground to ground. So RX to TX, TX to RX and ground to ground. And once you have done that, the machine will be sufficiently tricked into accepting a serial connection. Otherwise you're going to get a serial port write error. And the things I further did in order to facilitate that was that the mouse driver, which is an autoexec.bat, I deactivated it. So the mouse driver has been de deactivated here by simply putting a rem in front of the line that is commenting it out, but otherwise keeping it for whenever I want to turn it back on. Then I was actually curious like what are the default settings of the port? And I just tried to echo high into it. Unfortunately, only garbage came out. So, uh, <laughs> whatever the settings were, they were not 9600 baud, no parity, 8 data bits and 1 stop bit. They were whatever else. So instead of, well, fighting with this, I simply used the mode command to set COM1 to the desired speed, no parity, 8 data bits and 1 stop bit. And once I did that and echoed test, then that was accepted on the Linux machine. Now, this opens the gate for all sorts of possible further games. In particular, I should be able to say CTTY COM one. I have not tried that yet, so wish me luck. CTTY COM1, which you're seeing here, means change teletype control to the first serial port. And if that command is somehow misexecuted, if anything goes wrong here, yeah, then you have to reboot because there's nothing that would work here anymore. Yeah, you cannot gain control back through this teletype, so to speak, because it simply no longer accepts it. However, I just saw it blink up here. Things seem to have gone smoothly. You see the C colon backslash greater than sign prompt. And if I now say dear, and maybe uh, simply control M, control J, Control M. Ah, Control M was sufficient. 
yeah so I am now able to remote control the book 8088 through my Linux machine and the directory listing always takes an absolute eternity to return but now it did if I want to go back I simply say CTTY con for console and once I press enter here <laughs> we are back here and this 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 nonsense I was typing before just got spilled out of the keyboard but buffer but you see I have regained control of my machine so that's it that is how you can indeed establish a functional serial connection between uh, book 8088 version 2 and a Linux laptop. Thank you very much for having watched this video and hope to greet you here soon again. If you're not a subscriber yet, please do consider becoming one. We would be happy to have you in our club. See you then soon. Have a great day. And from me, goodbye. Post dictum. I just noticed I forgot to show you the Linux command with which I connected while well, I used picocom and all of this is to be seen as on one line. So with these options I was able to reach the other machine.